Happy Tuesday, guys. Uh, this is a fun little workout today. If you're looking to sweat, uh, you're gonna be sweating a lot on this one. So nine rounds for time, 50 double unders, 20 kettlebell swings, 10 burpee box jump overs. So this is all cardio. Um, if you're looking to really build your endurance, this is a great little workout to get into. Um, and we've been doing a lot of work building up to the stage. So we'll be doing a lot of EMOMs, working on uh, double unders, work on our capacity there. So this workout should slowly start to feel a little bit easier um, and you should be a little bit more comfortable now handling this kind of volume. Um, with today, what I want you to focus on, focus on going into the workout is breathing. So um, if we're thinking about our breathing guys, that's one um, aspect of movement that kind of gets underlooked. If we're focusing on breathing, we'll be more efficient with our movement and actually get the benefits out of the workout. So we'll get uh, better um, adaptation to long aerobic style workouts if we're really focusing on our breathing. So what that entails, guys, um, as you're doing your double unders or as you're doing your kettlebell swings, or even just choose one movement out of each round that you're gonna focus your breathing on. So double unders, sometimes um, I know I do this, you tighten up, you hold up your, you hold onto your breath, um, and as you're doing your double unders until you're finished. And then you realize you have to take a bit deep, um, like exhale out once you're done. See if you can time your breathing as you're doing your double unders. So maybe you're breathing in for three seconds and then breathing out for three seconds. Just one kind of tempo to stick to, to kind of keep it easy and simple in your head as you're doing your double unders. Um, or you can time it with the, your double unders as you're doing every five double unders so for five double unders you're breathing in and then the next five double unders you're exhaling out and this is a way you can think of to start um, incorporating your breathing into it to be efficient with your movement and again breathing is a key component it's one of the elements of efficiency for our movement so i want you guys to think about that think about your breathing as you're doing this one and again it could be something else it could be for your kettlebell swings it could be for your burpee box jump overs some of the movements are gonna be a little bit easier to focus on your breathing and some of them will be a little bit more challenging based on where you're at and how you've adapted to it. So um, therapy box jump overs, for example, maybe a little bit more high skill in terms of trying to coordinate the breathing just because there's a lot more moving parts. If you wanna look for an easier um, way to start incorporating it more, kettlebell swings will probably be one that's kind of a little more simple. On the way down, breathing in, on the way up, breathing out. Uh, double unders may be kind of the second one that's a little bit more challenging and then the, the burpee box jumps will be all of the most challenging I would say but again pick one that you're comfortable with or that might be just a little bit outside your comfort zone and focus on that you'll be surprised that you might even hold a pace uh, faster than you thought you could in the workout just because you're being more efficient in the workout and again what we're trying to do with these workouts is build that capacity, build that um, endurance and manage fatigue in the workout. And the way we're going to manage fatigue is breathing. If you're not breathing, it's going to be a lot harder. And you guys already know that uh, from your previous experience with workouts here. So this one, we want to finish this underneath 30 minutes, uh, about three minutes per round. Um, and realistically, probably around 25 to 30 minutes. If you can get below that, then you're a superstar there. Um, uh, this one is, again, a really long kind of sweaty style workout, but again, you got to stick with it. So it's also a kind of a mental workout. So you got to make sure you stay on the clock, stay to your pace and stick to that pace that is appropriate for you. 70, 80% pace um, should be good enough for this one. Um, you don't want to be going out too, too fast with this workout. Um, once you're done, we're going to do uh, some core work, two minutes of a dead bug hold. So. Uh, make sure you're getting that activation in your core as you're in that position. Uh, play around with where your feet are. Um, and if you want to challenge yourself, whether it be doing some leg raises um, every 10 seconds or so, um, if the two minutes are easy, or even holding a kettlebell um, in various positions just to challenge a little bit more of your core. Ideally, you want to keep that spine nice and straight and our lower back flat to the ground. That means we're engaging that core. Um, as we're doing the dead bug. So make sure you get after that one. Again, core work is really important um, in any movement that we do. Um, hope you guys enjoy the workout today. It's gonna be a sweaty one. Um, and we'll see you guys today.